God, if I hadn't played it, someone with a fucking dickhead trimmer. This is a two stroke. Oh, just join the party. Fucking hell. Do you know what? You'd think I'd live in the fucking middle of fucking London, wouldn't you? Ooh. Right, let's get on with this. Hi, it's Matt. Welcome back to the shop. And today we're talking about uh, a question that someone asked me. It's another piston-related question. I think after I did the... Um, Robert's Piston series, this has kind of kicked everyone off. So, the question was, this guy asked me, he says, maybe you won't know this, haha, I do. Um, he said there was holes in the top of a piston that he'd seen. And he says he can't remember where he'd seen it. But there were these little holes all the way around the top of the piston. Now, before I even tell you what this is, don't do this, right? You might see me talking about it, and when I tell you what it's about, you'll be like, oh, fucking hell, that makes sense. Don't get your pistons and start fucking drilling holes in them. The simple fact is your piston hasn't been designed to accommodate these holes, and on the interior of the piston, they have built up more material to make up for the fact that they're drilling holes in the crown. Don't fucking do it. It's a stupid idea because you don't have the correct pistons. If you had the correct pistons, they'd already have the fucking holes in them. You know what I mean? So don't do it. I'm just saying that right now. Don't think, I'm just going to ignore him. That's going to make my pistons blah, 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 blah. Well, it's not. So you have your piston crown, usually the flat tops for a lot of these pistons that we're going to talk about. And then you have your ring grooves and your lands. And this is all part of your ring pack and what have you. And then you have a ring sticking out here and a ring sticking out here. A lot of times they have different profiles on the secondary rings. And this hole is drilled all the way through here, like so. And we call these, these are gas vents, or what we call vertical gas vents. Now there are other ones, and we'll probably do a video if people are interested, called lateral, and we'll talk about them. But these holes are designed to increase the um, ring pressure of the rings seating against your cylinders. Now I know what a lot of people are going to say, we've just been talking about hard braking and all the rest of it, why don't they do this? The reason why you do this usually is when you modify an engine to either run a different fuel or run crazy power, so you're starting to do turbocharging, supercharging, nitrous, as an usually drag racing applications, um, you know, where you really want to push your engine and the problem is is that originally it was designed to deal with so much um, combustion pressure and so were the rings and so was the piston and now you're trying to push it further than that um, so what happens is is you end up getting a lot of gas blow by and the reason why is because the pressures that are acting on the rings aren't enough um, for these you know these extreme pressures as soon as any pressure gets under that ring, it lifts it, and then you just get gas blow by really bad. Um, so it's all about how much force you have against your cylinder wall. So what they do is they drill these um, gas vents, these vertical gas vents. So what happens is, is when you get this cracking bit, you know, this increasing combustion pressure, it then goes down here and then forces against the back of the ring so it's got a larger path, a more direct path it happens quicker so it can sink the ring quickly before the big whacking great big gases come down here it's all about time, work the way around the back and then apply pressure some gases may have already leaked down there because as this is going down here this has got to go around the back and tuck in where it's coming straight down and what happens is, is you do actually get a boundary layer effect, a cushion where with these high pressure um, systems um, the ring cannot seat properly and this is every combustion stroke this is fuck all to do with break-ins yeah it's nothing to do with that it's to do with when you start really turbocharging supercharging nitromethane nitrous oxide and you're actually running the engine constantly on that so on and so forth like i said on the back of your piston there'll be your interior piston and your piston crown it's not like that at all it's more like that it's a lot thicker on the top for the crown 
and with this hole drilled in this is going to weaken this area around here and you've just done it around a circle it's like shooting loads of bullets in a ceiling so the bathtub falls through you know they have additional areas like this or you might not even see it but it's literally they've made the whole wall thicker to incorporate these um, vertical vents that go all the way through and my board rubbers I need to get a new one a lot of people did have some suggestions thank you very much I'm going to try a couple of them any road um, so yeah, there's this boundary layer effect where some of the gases get there first and then the ring basically is trying to push against the gases. So if you've got, you know, the gas pressure here is like 800 to 1000 bar, it's pushing against air that is 800 to 1000 bar, so it just gridlocks it and then gas can just keep on flowing down there and cause all sorts of ring flutter and all sorts of fucking horrible shitty problems. So that's the reason why they do it, is to get behind the rings quicker and to give them a shove, it's to race these gases and you know basically seat your rings properly. The beautiful thing about this is that when you go up on, you know, you could say, well, use bigger rings, use a bigger surface area, use whatever. The beautiful thing about this is, is on the compression stroke and on the, uh, you know, the exhaust stroke, or basically all the other strokes apart from the power stroke, the uh, pressures in the in the cylinder are nowhere near as high. So there's none of this boundary layer shit to overcome. Um, you know, generally the ring will go to the top of the seat, then the bottom of the seat, and up and down, up and down. Um, so basically what it means is you haven't got thicker rings that are pushing. Um, in a sense, you're getting more uh, pressure against your cylinder when you need it, but not suffering the consequences of that on the other strokes when you don't care too much. Hope that makes sense. Don't go fucking drilling rings in your piston, you're going to fuck it up. And I'll see you in a bit.